What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Look, and I'm already smiling because this is a topic that you are either going to go through in one way or possibly the other or possibly both. And it's a topic that you sit around with some of your homies sometimes and the conversation comes up based on what they may be going through and what other people have gone through and what you may have went through. And that is, when is it time to tell your children that they got to get out the house? And as many disputes on this topic is people who look at it in different ways and of course there are different scenarios that give leeway to the to the to the youngster and there are other scenarios that justify why you gotta send them packing sometime. The old adage has always been Man, when you turn 18, you got to go. Turn 18, you got to get out of my house. There ain't going to be no grown person in my house and they ain't bringing it. And some people do that because that's how they were raised. That's, how, that's what their parents did. When they hit 18, you are officially of adult age. But being 18 doesn't necessarily mean that you are ready and even qualified to be on your own. Now keep in mind there are different levels of maturity in all people. So you got people that can tell you straight up, man, I've been on my own since I was 16, 17, due to life circumstances may have thrusted them into the into the fire a little faster than normal. So they had to do it. That's a whole other case. But when you have a child that just grows up, goes through grade school, graduates, and then all of a sudden, boom, you 18, you got to get out. And they may not be mature enough. They may not have the life skills that are necessary to be on their own. And in some cases, some parents are still put them out. Because they feel like that's how he got to learn. He got to learn. Oh, hey, man, that's how my daddy did me. That's how my mama did me. I think those things should always be based on, like I said, the level that your child is on mentally. 18 people will say, well, he can go fight in the armed forces at 18. And look, I don't feel like people are ready at 18 to do that. But you know, just the armed forces, they want them bodies, so they'll let you get by with that. I think that the determination of whether or not you should send your child out the nest has to be based on, number one, what you have observed your child doing in preparation to become a man or a woman and be on their own. And in some cases, when people kick their children out that early and the child's not ready, what responsibility as a parent do you take for your child not being ready for the world? We like to put it all on the child. Hey, you gotta get out of here. Did you prepare your child to leave the house at 18? Did you prepare your child to leave the house at 20 or 21? See? So some of that responsibility and blame has to fall on us because we should be teaching our children and observing them and finding out what their skills and their gifts are and starting to help them hone those skills and gifts practically from the womb but no later than four years old by six they should already know 
and we should be grooming them. Now, if you've done all that as a parent, and then the child is just not responding, they're just not delivering, you lazy, not committed, just won't step up, then at some point, you have to give them that ultimatum. You got to. Because 18 can turn into 23, can turn into 26, can turn into 35 fast. And this cat is still sleeping on your couch, eating up your food, not paying any bills, and you are stuck with a grown person. Because at some point, the parent's job has to be done. It's like, I've done everything I brought you as far as I can bring you. Now, if it's a married couple, it's said, look, man, we ready to live our life. We raised you. Can't raise you no more. You grown. Then, God forbid, they got children, and now you raising the children, the grandchildren. So, the other side to that is knowing when to give them some leeway based on effort. Sometimes a child, a young person, I keep saying a child, but sometimes a young person, a young adult, they can be giving an effort. They might be going to school. So I'm going to give you some slack because you're in school. You stay here as long as you're in school. or You're working on a job, but at that young age, you may not have a job that can financially sustain you to be on your own yet. So a parent may give you that rope until you can kind of fall into your purpose and start getting your weight up. But you always have to have that exit plan in mind. And I'm talking to the young people now. You already got to have it in mind like because some young people are scared to leave in this. Some want to leave or claim they want to leave, but they don't want the responsibility. Because it get real when you got to pay the bills. But it's not wise for a parent to just set that date, set that age. Child seven years old and you done already set the, the timer that when you turn 18, no matter what your situation is, you got to go. That's not wise to do. Feel out and observe the situation with your child. See if they're ready. See if they're prepared. See if they are motivated. Because it's a lot of lazy ones out here too. I used to be one of them. That wouldn't have any problem living with their parents for the rest of their life. They don't want to work. Don't want to be anything. So it's a it's a line, it's a balance that has to be discovered. But the biggest responsibility and the first responsibility is on you as a parent, again, to hone your child's gifts and talents from an early age and prepare them to by the time they 18, they got it, if that's the age you set. But if it take them a little longer, give them a little more room. Now, if your child is getting disrespectful, they're coming off like they're running the house, but they're not paying no bills, they're not adhering to any of the rules of the house, then at some point, then yeah, that's when you step in and give them that old school saying, look dude, look baby girl, if you can't follow these rules, you gotta go. We have all, you have outgrown this place. And I've seen situations where a hard headed youngster got put out the house and it made them better because now they were thrusted in a situation where they had to do what they had to do. But I've also seen situations where they were put out and it made them worse. And they start selling dope. They start getting into other lifestyles that are not wise to get into. But the maturity level wasn't there and the support wasn't there. The communication wasn't there. And people would lose their children behind that. And I don't necessarily mean physically lose their life, but lose the relationship because of the resentment that may come behind those kind of decisions. So tell me what y'all think, man. Anything I forgot, y'all drop it in the pot down below, man. And um, if y'all have been through this, 
Let me know what's up. Excuse my blinking light. I got to get another light. But um, it's your big brother, K-Reno. Peace.